Then thou shalt say before the Lord thy God, I have put away the hallowed things out of my house, and also have given them unto the Levite, and unto the stranger, to the fatherless, and to the widow, according to all thy commandment which thou hast commanded me. I have not transgressed any of thy commandments, either have I forgotten them. I have not eaten thereof in my mourning, either have I put away thereof, being unclean, nor given thereof for the dead. I have hearkened to the voice of the Lord my God, I have done according to all that thou hast commanded me. Look forth from thy holy habitation, from heaven, and bless thy people Israel, and the land which thou hast given us, as thou didst swear unto our fathers, a land flowing with milk and honey. This day the Lord thy God commandeth thee to do these statutes and ordinances. Thou shalt therefore observe and do them with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. Thou hast avouched the Lord this day to be thy God, and that thou wouldest walk in his ways, and keep his statutes, and his commandments, and his ordinances, and hearken unto his voice. And the Lord hath avouched thee this day to be his own treasure, as he hath promised thee, and that thou shouldest keep all his commandments. And to make thee high above all nations that he hath made, in praise, and in name, and in glory, and that thou mayest be a holy people unto the Lord thy God, as he hath spoken. And Moses and the elders of Israel commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandment which I command you this day. And it shall be on the day when ye shall pass over the Jordan unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, that thou shalt set thee up great stones, and plaster them with plaster. And thou shalt write upon them all the words of this law, when thou art passed over, that thou mayest go in unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, a land flowing with milk and honey, as the Lord, the God of thy fathers, hath promised thee. And it shall be when ye are passed over the Jordan, that ye shall set up these stones, which I command you this day, in Mount Ebel, and thou shalt plaster them with plaster. And there shalt thou build an altar unto the Lord thy God, an altar of stones, Thou shalt lift up no iron tool upon them. Thou shalt build the altar of the Lord thy God of unhewn stones, and thou shalt offer burnt offerings thereon unto the Lord thy God. And thou shalt sacrifice peace offerings, and shalt eat there, and thou shalt rejoice before the Lord thy God. And thou shalt write upon the stones all the words of this law very plainly. And Moses and the priests the Levites spoke unto all Israel, saying, Keep silence, and hear, O Israel, this day thou art become a people unto the Lord thy God. Thou shalt therefore hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and do his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. And Moses charged the people the same day, saying, These shall stand upon Mount Gerizim to bless the people, when ye are passed over the Jordan, Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Joseph, and Benjamin. And these shall stand upon Mount Ebel for the curse, Reuben, Gad, and Asher, and Zebulun, Dan, and Naphtali. And the Levites shall speak, and say unto all the men of Israel with a loud voice, Cursed be the man that mocketh a graven or molten image, an abomination unto the Lord, the work of the hands of the craftsmen, and setteth it up in secret. And all the people shall answer and say, Amen. Cursed be he that dishonoreth his father or his mother. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he that removeth his neighbor's landmark. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he that mocketh the blind to go astray in the way. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he that perverteth the justice due to the stranger, fatherless, and widow. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he that leath with his father's wife, because he hath uncovered his father's skirt. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he that leath with any manner of beast. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he that leath with his sister, the daughter of his father, or the daughter of his mother. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he that leath with his mother-in-law. And all the people shall say, Amen. 
Cursed be he that smitteth his neighbor in secret. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he that taketh a bride to slay an innocent person. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he that confirmeth not the words of this law to do them. And all the people shall say, Amen. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon thee, and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy land, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the young of thy flock. Blessed shall be thy basket, and thy kneading trough. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord will cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thee. They shall come out against thee one way, and shall flee before thee seven ways. The Lord will command the blessing with thee in thy barns, and in all that thou puttiest thy hand unto, and he will bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord will establish thee for a holy people unto himself, as he hath sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways. And all the peoples of the earth shall see that the name of the Lord is called upon thee, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord will make thee overabundant for good, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy land, in the land which the Lord swore unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord will open unto thee his good treasure the heaven to give the rain of thy land in its season, and to bless all the work of thy hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord will make thee the head, and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If thou shalt hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them, and shalt not turn aside from any of the words which I command you this day, to the right hand, or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee, and overtake thee. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket, and thy kneading trough. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind, and the young of thy flock. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord will send upon thee cursing, discomfiture, and rebuke, in all that thou puttiest thy hand unto to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly, because of the evil of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. The Lord will make the pestilence cleave unto thee, until he have consumed thee from off the land, whither thou goest in to possess it. The Lord will smite thee with consumption, and with fever, and with inflammation, and with fiery heat, and with drought, and with blasting, and with mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. The Lord will make the rain of thy land powder and dust, from heaven shall it come down upon thee, until thou be destroyed. 